In this recording, we're going to share with you how to scan and auto-index immigration documents for legal compliancy within an HR environment. These are going to be focused on H-1B visa type documents. Let's begin. We'll start by jumping into SciCapture 6.0. You can see the nice new and improved interface. We're going to select our capture profile. I selected a particular one here for immigration documents. I selected the corresponding folder and now I'm going to simulate a scan by starting capture from a file folder. Uh, this could also be useful when importing documents from your server. You can see now that we've brought in uh, many single page files. As we go through the classification step, which is the next step of the workflow, we will stitch some of those together as some of them should be multiple page files. And you'll see that here in just a moment. Please note that we did not have uh, separator pages, barcode or patch code pages. We're going to use something called first page and last page rules within classification. So right now we're in the classification step. What's happening is we're making all the documents intelligent using optical character recognition or OCR so the images are now searchable. From there we're going to run a complex set of rules you see that them going down the screen now to identify all the different document types. Many of these forms are similar but they are different so these rules are complex and we can use both positive and negative rules. It has to say this but it cannot say that for example. At this point you see we're in the quality assurance stage. We've done the auto indexing already and we're able to jump from document to document. Here we have these different documents. You see in the upper right hand corner they all say 797C or many of them say that. But they're not all the same document. This one is an appointment notice. Document number two there happens to be a denial notice. We extracted information such as the application or A number. We also uh, captured the name and the date. Now as we look at this, let's zoom in a moment here. I want to show you how we're capturing that information. You can see we have the person's name and their A number, that applicant number. But if we jump to another document, you can see this person does not have an A number. Obviously these are fictitious documents. I don't think Hillary Clinton has a H-1B visa document. Uh, you can also see this number is missing as well. So if the information is there, we're able to extract it. If it's not on the image, we could either do a database lookup or let someone manually type those in if need be. This is a very fast video. We wanted to show you something quick where we can auto extract these images. We'll go ahead and close this out. It does not have to be immigration documents. Our site capture software is capable of auto indexing many different document types, whether it's contracts, HR documents, uh, invoices, really anything you can think of. So uh, this is just one example of what can be done with site capture and the new and improved interface for site capture 6.0. If you'd like to learn more about SciGen and all the solutions we bring to market, please contact us at sales at SciGen.com. Thank you.